Welcome to Mandala Drum Tutorial Number 1, set up for Mac. Here are the items you'll find when you open your Mandala package. First thing we want to do is connect the drum to the computer using the included USB cable. So, let's plug this into the computer right here. One end USB in. We'll take the other end, plug that into the Mandala drum right here. And that's it. Next thing, we want to make sure the audio is connected to the output of our computer. So let's connect our powered speakers to the audio jack on the computer. If you'd like to use headphones instead, that's an option also. Now let's install the software from the included DVD. So let's put the DVD into the DVD drive right here. Load that up on our desktop. Okay, once your Mac uh, recognizes the DVD, it will appear on the desktop with this icon here. So double click the DVD icon and you'll see two folders in there. One pertains to Windows users. We're not interested in that. Uh, so here's a folder called Drag Enclosed Folders to Macintosh. Double click that folder, grab the three items that are in there and drag them to your desktop or to your hard drive wherever you'd like to place them. And let go and they will begin to transfer from the DVD to your computer. Uh, it'll take a little while because there is over three gigabytes worth of material. Okay, once those three items are on your desktop or on your hard drive, wherever you've moved them, uh, we won't need the DVD anymore, so you can eject the DVD and put that away. And what we're interested in now is the Mandala Virtual Brain V3.0 folder. That's where your program is. So double click that folder and you'll see the program here with its support files and folders around it. Don't move anything out of that folder. They all need each other in order to run properly. So let's launch the Mandala Virtual Brain program by double clicking that. And the first thing we'll do when the program opens up is set up our driver window so the program recognizes our pad that we've plugged into the USB port and so that we have set up the audio output properly. Okay, so here we are in the Virtual Brain program. First thing, first place we want to go is to File, Audio Pad Driver Window. And let's go down here to Pad 1. And this drop-down menu will have all the, any, you know, devices you've got plugged into your computer. And one of them here is the Mandala Drum, which you can see uh, with our serial number on it. You'll see yours in there, Mandala Drum, number, number, uh, something or other. And so choose Mandala Drum. Turn that on. So that means now that the physical pad you've plugged in is now represented by this pad number one up here in the software. And if you actually tap on your pad now, you'll see you're getting a reading there on the screen exactly where you're tapping on your pad so you know that you just set up that connection properly. Okay, now we want to make sure the audio works. So let's turn audio on. And in the driver uh, pull-down menu, you can choose which driver you'd like to use. If you've got something plugged in to your uh, USB port or something as an audio interface or you can use the built-in output and just have your speakers or your headphones plugged right into your computer. I'm going to choose my Fireface interface. Um, next thing, make sure sampling rate is at 44,100. Let's choose 64 as a buffer size, 64 as a signal vector size. Set our output channels to 1 and 2. And let's make sure we have got sound by clicking the test tone button. Okay, so that's all set up properly. We've got our tone, let's say OK. That'll save all those settings. We can close the driver window and your pad is now connected to the program and the audio is coming out successfully. And that's it. The next tutorial will show you how to load a preset and get yourself playing.